Previously, on Resident Evil 2. Everyone's gonna get fucking duded on over here. Dude, 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 dude. So this area that I'm about to go into is entirely optional. It... If you don't um, do the, the guest password, uh, guest user registration um, in Claire's campaign, Leon can't do it in his. And I feel like this was a genius move by Capcom at the time. Because this incentivizes you to go back and replay it. There's a shutter, in the uh, a shutter switch. Will you push it? You know I will. And see, Claire's already input hers. We're, we're a bit behind her. Two or more staff need to be present to enter. She must have just been here. Commencing with secondary fingerprint. Verification. Do it. Fingerprint verified. Access granted. We are good to go. Whoa. These tunes. They're so groovy. What is this? It looks like the remains of a failed experiment. There's like baby men in the tubes to over here. All right, can I get you from here? Oh man, there's so much kick on this. <laughs> what? Did I get both of them? Did I get one on like the first shot and then the second shot I got? one? Or did the bullet travel through them? Oh my god, this gun. It looks like the remains of another failed experiment. Oh jeez, that is disgusting. <laughs> I guess every Resident Evil needs to have that one background song that's just a little eyebrow raising. Resident Evil 1 had the kitchen, I think. What? I didn't realize that Leon can get the submachine gun. Since when did that happen? Okay, let's have a bit of fun. It's broken from inside. His abdomen has been ripped apart. He must have been like one of the first people to die to Birkin. It looks like encased transport important chemicals, but there's nothing inside. Uh, that was difficult to read. I think it meant to say a case. What else do we? Is that it? Was it just to get the submachine gun? Cause I'm cool with that. This is good. I mean, objectively, my magnum and my shotgun are still better, but this is just fun. <laughs> All right, let's have a let's have a bit of fun with this. Okay, well, we might need to suck down some healing items to to make room for important items. So we have the submachine gun, which I honestly didn't remember Leon ever getting. And then I think there's a door we can fiddle with. And I'm kind of fuzzy what happens there. husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the G virus, didn't you? Never take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about.
about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> You're so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about him. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. Mr. X! No! It's like he could smell the G-Virus. Get wrecked, son. Keep getting wrecked. Okay, um... I'm gonna back up and now commencing wrecking. Yeah, get fucked. When are you gonna learn? You can't best the Leon. Oh, that's some good shit. <laughs> and then eh, Annette's just like, oh, okay, I can save myself a bullet because Mr. X over there, wink, is absolutely gonna take care of this scrub. Was she not see what I had? I had the good shit. Entrevue? Yes. Hmm. I'm not certain what happens next, which is kind of exciting. Ah, no, I remember. I remember. All right, let's toggle on some power. You again! Just leave you behind. I'm just a woman who fell in love with you. Nothing more. Ada. No. Ada! The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. I will always remember you. Goodbye, Ada. Master Key. She gave up her life for us. She didn't have to, she just could have kept running. Goodbye, Ada. Hello? 
Claire, are you there? Claire! The security office? Back where we left the little kid in Claire's campaign. Leon's task to go find her. All right. All right, with that touching moment out of the wake, can I just say that romance moment came out of freaking nowhere? Like, we went from, hi, I'm Ada Wong. I'm gonna run away now. Oh no, my boyfriend is dead. To, okay, sure, I'll hang with you, I guess. To, oh no, there's a fist in my face. Ow, it's the size of a truck, it hurts. To, I love you, Leon. I love you. So one of two things is happening. Ada is using Leon. Or, it's really shitty light, uh, writing. Could be really shitty writing. This is early Resident Evil after all. And you can't have a male lead and a, fam a female uh, co-lead uh, without a romance. Yeah, it just doesn't happen. It can't happen. Sherry, I've come to get you out of here. Claire is waiting for you. We got you, girl. I'm very glad we don't have to fiddle with a, a disabled Sherry in like some kind of terrible uh, uh, escort quest. But the alternative route has been opened up. Will you go down? Yes, we will. It's our ticket out of here. I always wonder what the elevator's doing in that moment. It's like switching trams or something. The high speed train. The one with the penchant for exploding, if you might remember. Just rest here for now. Claire should be back soon. Alright. Let's get this train moving. The motor cannot be activated due to insufficient power supply. Should be some power in here. We'll get that sorted. We don't even have a gun equipped. That's probably a problem. What is this? Oh. Platform key. Alright. I still don't know what this tiny key goes to, but I'm going to stow it for now. Because I think... I think it's time has gone. Comment section? What, what, what did I miss? Because I don't freaking know. I'm gonna go ahead and stow the um, submachine gun. I think we had our fun. We blapped some stuff, but look at the surplus of ammo. Uh, it's, we're in shotgun and magnum mode from here on out. Hell, we might be exclusively magnum. If I see a group of zombies, yeah, I'll shotgun them. That's too satisfying. Stay put, Sherry. Yeah, she's got a parasite in her. That can't feel good. We saw what it did to a reporter. A mild-mannered reporter at that. Use that platform key. Get rid of it. Uh oh. Five minutes until detonation. We have to get out of here. Five minutes or bust. Okay, it's another item box. That's good. That's good. 
game's making double sure that we have what we need. Storage for the high capacity plugs. So we open it. Yes. And we can just go ahead and take these. I like. I like this. This is good game design, by the way. The game is ensuring that we have space for um, a, a double stack weapon that is required to beat the game. So it gives you a uh, a puzzle item that fits two sp two spaces because that that weapon will in fact take up two spaces. So they're ensuring that you can fit it, and that there's nothing in the way, that you're not using anything that breaks the, the situation. So the power's online, and the epic confrontation with Mr. X, the tyrant, begins. He was a tyrant the entire time. Oh, God. And he's so much more brutal than Wesker's tyrant in the first game. Not only does he have two claws, but he's on fire! Woo! These dodges! Never mind. Okay, he's got a mean left swing. I think that was a miss. No. Oh no, we haven't saved in like a hot minute. I've been too cocky. Okay, we can take another hit. Ada, is that you? Ada! No! Okay, danger mode. Fuck me. Get off my tits, man. Rocket launcher. Two shot rocket launcher. Game over. Point blank. Nice. Rest in peace, Mr. X. Game's most powerful weapon. The rocket launcher. The one and done maker. You remember when Resident <laughs> Evil had enemies that you could just use a big enough boom to take care of? Also that Ada cameo. Back from the dead. Where did she find the rocket launcher anyway? Of course, the next time we see Ada, Leon's gonna be all super indignant about it. He's like, Ada, huh? Huh, huh, huh? Like, not even, not even surprised that she's alive. Like, yeah, we saw someone that looked like her, but we don't know that that was her. God, it feels fucking good. Device to open the tunnel. Will you turn on the switch? Yes. I didn't know I had to do that, but the game put zombies in my path, so I thought I should investigate. Okay. Activate the train. Leon doesn't know what's wrong with Sherry, so... He doesn't know we're waiting for the antidote. Two minutes I've ever seen. 
Sherry's unconscious. I have the antidote. If I give it to her... Not now. Come on, Cherry, wake up. Wake up. Please wake up. Claire? Where am I? It worked. Oh, Sherry, you're going to be okay. Thanks, Claire. It's over. No. I have to find my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning. We rolled credits. We were done. What's going on? Also, what a dick move, right? We have two minutes on the clock, so Leon pulls the lever and the train pulls out. Claire's like, hey, there was still two minutes on the clock. What gives? What was that? No. Yeah. Let's pretend nothing happened. Warning. Biohazardous outbreak imminent. The emergency system has been activated. This train will detonate. Repeat, this train will detonate. And now everyone's locked in. What's wrong? I don't know. The door won't open. We have two minutes to sort out the problem. So let's use the world's strongest weapon to ensure that we solve the problem. Maybe grab something from our item box. Or can we? Birkin. He, no, it is still alive. Just proof positive the G virus is more enduring than the T virus. We took out the tyrant with an explosive warhead. And now, he just tanks it like it's nothing. Ugh. Oh, he is so gooey. Just die already, Birkin. You're looking a little worse for wear, Mr. Birkin. Sorry, Dr. Birkin.
right switch. Maybe this one? Sherry! Leon! Ah! Uh, push the switch over there! Got it! Where's Claire? Claire? Claire! Right here! Claire! I guess we all made it. They just won't quit! Come on, we have to get out of here! Run! So, it's finally over. Sherry, you look terrible. No worse than you, Claire. Come on, time to leave. Now? What's wrong? Is something following us? We have to go. We don't have any time to waste. Go? Where? Hey, it's up to us to take out Umbrella. <laughs> And a terrorist is born. More or less. There's a blast from the past. They set us up for a, a sweet sequence of adventures that more or less came to be, just not quite how we expected it. Resident Evil 3 uh, became a, a similar experience where Jill Valentine escapes um, the fate of Raccoon City. Resident Evil 4 is Leon going into cinematic mode. Uh, Veronica has Claire being a literal terror, so like making do on the promise that this game set out to uh, fulfill. Fun fact, Code Veronica was actually supposed to be the the successor to this game it's supposed to be Resident Evil 3. Um, I I vastly prefer how it shaped out because uh, the Resident Evil 3 that we got, Nemesis, is just my all-time favorite Resident Evil. Hands down. But this one, I want to say, it's up there. The classic Resident Evils are still really, really good. And, uh, their old school graphics, if you can just see past them, they're a really fun experience. I'm gonna shut up for a little while and let you enjoy these credits. That jam. Good fucking stuff. What's our rank after all that? I don't know where this is supposed to take place, because we kind of know how it shakes out in Raccoon City, you know? Rank B? That's not bad for being as rusty as I am. Six saves? In the end, I didn't... I didn't save from the, um, the waste disposal plant to here. Not bad. I'd, we could do better, but still not bad. So what follows our little adventurer? Stars. Wow. That was a blast from the past. I had a lot of fun. Um, thank you very much for joining me on this adventure. Um, Hopefully in the future.
we'll continue on with something you might be excited about. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, take care.